A lot of people have trouble finding actual good samples to find. And there's all those websites where you can buy packs, but they're usually very generic, especially when it comes to acapellas. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys different places and different ways that you can get samples, dr uh, drum breaks, loops, all those kind of things. And um, yeah, so there's basically three main ways that you can get samples. Um, you can actually download them from websites. You can use a mp3 converter from where you can convert a YouTube video or a SoundCloud video into audio and download it. And then the third way is to use an audio uh, recorder and audio hijack is what I'll be using but there's um, definitely other alternatives. So good sources, obviously you can go and use Google. For example, you could say Soul. So the first thing that pops up is Soldier Boy. He's been going crazy lately um, with Chris Brown, but that's off topic. But you can look up Soul Vinyl Records or let's say Samples if that's what you want. And then you can go into Videos and this is going to take you to all kinds of YouTube videos. Welcome to the environment. Places where you can sample. So, um, yeah, Google, YouTube is a good search engine. And these are some um, pages that I'll have in the description that have a ton of uh, samples that you can get. Uh, and... Yeah, there's entire pages dedicated to um, vinyl samples for producers. So very helpful to go ahead and subscribe to those if you are into that kind of thing and you want to sample stuff. For acapellas, I'm just going to get them out of the way. There's two main websites. And with acapellas, what I found is that there's a lot of uh, companies that sell them or... Um, have artists that do acapellas but they're usually not high quality um, they're very mediocre and they're kind of rushed but with vocaler.it they actually have acapellas from actual artists that are known and their studio acapellas some of them are DIY which means they're um, actually kind of bootlegged acapellas but they still work and you have um, all these different artists where you can get their acapellas from and they have a premium version so some of them some of the acapellas might be locked to free users but acapellas for you is 100% free you can actually go onto their website and look at their acapellas their list and to check if they have something that you want you can uh, hit command F or control F if you're on Windows and type in the name of an artist so I just typed in Brandy and I can find if they have any of that. So let's say I want an Eminem record. I can see if they actually have that. And look, they have 133 matches. So I can scroll through it until I find something that interests me. And then on their actual website, uh, I can search for the acapella and download it. Um, so that's where you could find acapellas. And I'll have the links to those in the description. Now, a cool place that I like to find samples as well is sample blogs and these are all like alternatives to Google so you don't have to do it all searches again, yourself very innocently. there's actual pages that will compile links and stuff of certain genres or certain interests musical interests or styles and you can find old vinyl records that way Vinyl Frontier it was a really popular one but their YouTube channel got deleted so all the videos are actually gone but the links are still there so if you see something that interests you you can search it up online or let's see what happens if I hit that okay it seems to be something else but you can search it up and hit download um, or hit the link to go ahead and download that another great source of samples that I forgot to mention is whosample.com and the reason why I like this website is that it takes a different approach to samples. 
um, you can actually search for artists that you like such as Drake or any popular artist and it'll actually tell me at what time the sample appears so if I go to 244 apparently it's gonna be there so a cool kind of source so you can immediately recognize the sample a lot of popular artists really are their beats are sampled sampled from certain things so A 1972 song so it shows you samples are a huge part of the hip-hop culture a huge part of the music production culture and who sample is just a great source and even if you don't want generic stuff it'll have some artists that you may like that no one else really knows or you can just browse f through certain genres that they have on their website they even have an app so you can do it while you're bored or something on the bus or on a plane well I mean some people have Wi-Fi on the plane so they can do that but most of you guys um, I hope you guys are in airplane mode. It's cool if um, if you're kind of in a place where you have free time, you can be on the app. So just a cool other source uh, who sampled and uh, yeah. But let's go back to the third kind of way that you can get samples and that is with the audio recorder. Um, so if you have a streaming service like uh, Spotify or if you have um, Pandora, you can go ahead and use a website called Forgotify. This is just for uh, Spotify. But you can go on Spotify or Pandora and go ahead and find records that you want. Or go ahead and browse certain genres and moods. But to go ahead and get even more creative or more unique, you can use a website called Forgotify. And that will actually randomize... Um, the, the songs that you can find and if you don't have Spotify the app and you're not premium on Spotify it'll still play 30 seconds of each song and um, if you get the audio recorder what you can do is hit record and actually record the 30 seconds of each song and keep going through this and then when you're done and you have 10 minutes of audio you can go through those 10 minutes and chop it down to something that you like so let's go ahead and look through this so this is a random song right here and as you can tell it's very unknown stuff less than a thousand plays and there's millions of songs like this on Spotify so, so much valuable and incredible music that hasn't been played or that's not mainstream and you can use a service like audio hijack set up kind of a system to record stuff and um, all you need is a computer some internet access to go ahead and get on Spotify or whatever and you can go ahead and do that yeah and another source the last source I'm gonna go over is stumble upon and once you sign up it'll ask you for your interests, and you can go through your musical interests uh, and stuff like that um, but let's say I wanted some soul and R&B I could then hit stumble and it's gonna keep finding YouTube videos, photos, She's gone. or just related stuff. And then I can go ahead and copy the link, um, copy link address, and go from there to anything to MP3 and convert it into a downloadable MP3 file. And then once that's done, you can go ahead and bring that into your program and then go ahead and um, do whatever you have to do. So for me, I'm in Ableton, I'll just add it to the desktop and then drag the file into Ableton and then go ahead and do whatever I have to do. So this is a previous recording that I've done, um, but to demonstrate audio hijack, I'm just gonna go and get to Forgotify and let's find something else. You can kind of guess what kind of music it is by looking at the titles. Um, but let's go into for, uh, Audio Hijack. And I can hit record. And hit play. Now I don't know if this is going through my actual screen recording, but right now it's recording whatever I'm playing.
so you kind of get the point right there. And I could even keep going and go to, I can go to YouTube and just have a whole session of just browsing and listening while the recording is going. And then when I go back, I can go ahead and scroll through it real fast until I find something that I like and keep looping With it the ultimate. into an actual song. And the algorithm for YouTube is gonna actually help you find similar vinyl songs. So once you get to the right part of YouTube and get to that soul or funk video um, or vinyl channel, you'll start getting suggestions and then you'll be able to dig around for like hours. So it's a good kind of place to start looking is YouTube. So, but those are all the different sources that I use to find samples and you can just build a humongous library and chop it up and then prepare it for later use. And it's just a great way. There's so many different ways with the internet to look for samples and it's really a blessing. So don't complain that it's long or anything like a long process because in the past you'd have to actually go and get vinyl records or CDs and stuff so it really is a blessing and there's so many tools that you can use and I just wanted to share that because I know a lot of people want to have um, acapellas for example and they don't even know where to look because a lot of these um, companies are kinda taking advantage of Google and trying to sell you packs and stuff of mediocre quality stuff um, but yeah hopefully that helped and actually one more source that you can get samples from is Looperman and it's kind of uh, a collab website in a way because everybody uploads their own loops and what's cool about it is that so here let me get a soul let, let's go into the categories and hit soul wherever that is I've seen it around here all right there we go and let me hit this so just tons of samples and you can actually just download it right away and there's the BPM and sometimes there's the key uh, sometimes it's unknown but you can always find that out on your own just by playing different notes and find the right key um, but something I like looking for is vinyl on here and some of them are cheesy but at least it's going to be royalty free and you have basically an infinite amount of collabs or it's it's a limited amount but it's so much you're not going to get through it all and there's just so many ideas um, to sample and stuff and to make your own records with so there's no rules to sampling you can do whatever you want and uh, these are just some of the sources where you can find it so go ahead and leave a like if you appreciated this video and let me know where you get some of your acapellas and uh, i'll see you guys next time hey yo we head to a party to go see what's happening smoking the law in the car turn on some rapping start the freestyle we be up on our way finish up the blunt Somebody passed that.